When I first started Done DIY, I really didn't know much about working with tools. I knew the general idea of the tools I was using, but I was never quite sure if I was using them to their full capacity. In Tools 101, I'm sharing everything you need to know about tools so you can DIY with confidence. I'm Kirsten Dunn, and this is Dunn DIY. A level is a mark of good craftsmanship. It's a simple tool that makes all the difference from setting posts to mounting shelves. Today, we're gonna to share everything you need to know to make the most of your level. Levels are, not too surprisingly, used for finding level, plumb, and 45 degree angles. They can be used for mounting shelves, headboards, and the like, and for setting posts straight. The number one rule is don't drop your level. Now, that may sound obvious, but even if you've dropped it and it doesn't look damaged, it can throw off the reading of the vials. Now, if you've dropped your level, or if it's been around for a while and you just wanna check and make sure that it's still reading accurately, there's an easy way to do that. So on a flat surface, you're gonna lay your level down and put pieces of paper under one side until you get a level reading. Now, once you've done this, you can flip your level around and see if the reading is the same. If it is, then your level is accurate. As you can see, there are many different types of levels and we're gonna talk about some of the different functions of them right now. A line level hooks onto a top piece of string and works great for setting posts of the same height. Torpedo levels are great for working in tight spaces. They're easy to carry and easy to store. Some levels like this have magnetic strips where you can attach them to something metallic and it comes in handy for picking up screws and nails. Some levels have multiple vials like this one that measure in different directions and some even have adjustable vials like this one. Longer levels are generally more accurate than shorter levels. The box beam and the I-beam look a lot alike and are pretty similar. The box beam is sturdier, more durable, and is less likely to become inaccurate, while the I-beam is lighter weight and more affordable. The post level is a unique level for unique scenarios. It's great for setting posts and checking for plumb in multiple directions at the same time. And lastly, we have the cross-check level and the bullseye level, which are also more unique levels that are designed to sit on a flat surface and check for level in either two different directions at the same time or in all directions at the same time. If you're just starting building your toolkit, a torpedo level is really all you'll need for living in an apartment and building smaller projects. A 24 to 36 inch level seems to be the homeowner standard. The larger size means that it's more accurate than the torpedo level and it's a great addition to your toolkit. These are our recommendations for specific projects. The post level and the line level aren't levels that you're gonna be using on a daily basis, but if you're building a fence in your backyard, these are the levels that you're gonna to wanna to turn to. In the case that you don't have a level when mounting something on a wall, you can measure up from the floor or down from the ceiling in several different places. This, of course, is assuming that your ceiling or floor isn't obviously slanted. You can alternately use an app on your smartphone to find what's level. Keep in mind that neither of these substitutions is foolproof, and if it doesn't look level to you, it's probably because it isn't. As a homeowner or renter, a level is an indispensable tool for accuracy, whether you're mounting something on the wall or setting a post in your backyard. 